Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about the Summer Showdown SBC that came out just yesterday on FIFA Ultimate Team and talk about today's SBC, which could either be Rabio or Pulisic in my opinion, and also talk about the upgraded Danilo card from last week's Summer Showdown and kind of talk about basically all the content and of course those Team of the Season guaranteed packs as well. Talk about some of those how they're giving out, and just kind of how, you know, it's cool that we got those packs. Finally, is repeatable. Like, EA, thank you for releasing them. But a lot of the stuff that is coming out of those packs is a bit lackluster. So I do want to start off by talking about the summer showdowns that we just got yesterday. Arthur Masawaku and uh, Trezeguet, or Ma Mahmoud Hassan. It is basically um, West Ham versus Villa. This game is going to be played next Sunday. So I think it's the 26th, the 26th of uh, July, basically the last weekend of the Prem. These two teams are facing off. Again, yesterday I thought it was going to be like Manchester United, their matchup this weekend, Man, Man City or Man U and Leicester City. Um, I thought it was going to be their matchup, but instead EA went with the West Ham and Villa matchup, which I guess it is a big matchup, but I was I would have thought they would have picked bigger clubs to do this with but hey regardless uh if you get a premier league left back for very cheap uh and you don't want to use robertson this is a very good card now i think personally that a lot of people are siding with uh villa this week because they would love to see trezeguet get upgraded because this card right here could be incredible as an upgraded left wing in the prem five star five star high medium work rates and look at some of these stats right imagine this guy getting a plus three boost on some of these stats already which are very very good this is going to be if he gets a plus three boost some people are saying and i think this is pretty true he might be the best or a top two top three left wing in the prem i mean it's the, at this stage of the game you would hope that he is um just because of what stage of the game that we're in i mean it's freaking we're in the end stages of july we have like two months until fifa 21 a little over two months until that game is coming out so um this card is a w in my opinion i'm kind of rooting for uh villa myself now this sbc does cost more uh the trezeguet sbc costs an 86 rated squad with 50 chem so it is craftable if you're doing some of the upgrades if you're doing 81 pluses or 82 to 88 and then masuaku is only an 83 rated squad so um if you want to do both of these this week if you're a card collector and you like collecting these cards that's definitely an option but i also feel like this sbc doesn't apply to some people like some people are probably not going to complete either of these just because they're just not going to insert them into their teams now maybe some guys that run an all prem squad would but uh of course french brazilian links have run strong this year in foot especially lately and neither of these guys really fit that mold so uh these are pretty decent cards i was just hoping that it might have been you know even leicester city and man u a lot of man u cards have come out recently i still feel like that uh would be a pretty pretty hyped spc if that would have come out but this was the other spc that we got today the any team of the season sbc now this is the same requirements as the one that came out yesterday basically ea re-released this sbc they made it repeatable and i think they saw my tweets boys i'm going to take a little bit of credit for this not really just joking uh because i tweeted yesterday i said hey ea sports we have an issue you gotta fix this this needs to be repeatable and then today what they did is they released it repeatable this expires on friday um is this pack the best that we really really wanted we were kind of hoping for like a guaranteed top five league team of the season player i think because a lot of it, what you get out of this pack right now i can actually show you uh we just finished up a live stream where i opened up honestly uh i could almost say hundreds and hundreds of packs tonight on the live stream and i got a duplicate salvio so you're like okay that's not a bad pull from that sbc 94 rated it's an off league uh but it's 94 rated and a very usable card the only problem with this SBC is it's giving out a lot of players from the lower leagues, a lot of Chinese league players, uh, because this just isn't cards that are in packs. This is any team of the season card that has been released. So again, you're getting a lot of the Super League players that are getting packed out of this Chinese league. Um, you know, the Liga NOS, I'm seeing some players, Air Divisi, MLS is popping a decent amount. Uh, and you're really, I opened maybe, you know, 40, 50, 60 of these tonight on stream and you're really it's like one out of every three or four players that you get from this sbc is from a top five league and when you're getting the top five league tots it's like hideki 
Kovacic, uh, you know, like Dean Henderson, those types of TOTS players are coming out from this pack. Now, some people have decent luck. I've seen them get Awar. Um, you know, Di Maria pops a decent amount. There's so many trolls, so many freaking trolls from this pack. Since all the team and seasons are combined in this pack, there's like multiple French strikers. The Edouard guy from Celtic, the Dembele striker from uh, Lyon. You get so many trolls in this pack. Right wing, uh, Argentine. You've got uh, Di Maria, of course, and um, Ocampos and the Messi. So there's a lot of trolls that are going on with these TOTS guaranteed packs. But still, you know what? It is a W because you can craft these very easily by doing the 81 double plus or the 82 to 88. Um, in my opinion, what I would do is I would try to craft the 81 double upgrades because these actually have been giving out a decent amount of TOTS cards. I opened a set of 10 uh, right before, again, this video tonight on stream. I got a 95 Tristegen and an 88 Andre TOTS cards in the same 81 double plus. So... You know, you know, per 10, per 10, usually you get like one to two team of the season. Sometime you'll get lucky, get three to four, because that's what really people are shooting for right now is to get those team of the season cards uh, in packs. And honestly, it's just a really fun thing to grind right now on the menus to try to pack some of these cards uh, in FIFA Ultimate Team. I packed a Ramos last night with the 81 plus doubles. Uh, I actually packed um, another Ramos, I think tonight for somebody else's account, I believe. Uh, tradable Ramos and but still the pack luck is out there give yourself a chance do some of those 81 plus upgrades one minor thing I will mention is last year and I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this last year we had an SBC like this that came out in the first week of batch three for summer heat and then in the second week of batch three we had the top five league guaranteed tots SBC now of course this year we're only looking at one week of the batch three for summer heat as you can see here these cards go out of packs in three days so I, I don't know if they're just ending summer heat early and they're going to have another promotion people have talked about moments icon sbcs we really just don't know what's going on with that scenario right now um but i guess maybe you save a couple coins right i would save like right now i've got about three million coins to my name a little over three mil in terms of how many coins i actually have um total in the club I'm probably going to save myself about 1.5 million coins after this week if I can do as many TOTS packs as I want to, um, just so that I can have some sort of coins to mess around with if there is other stuff that's going to come. So maybe save a few coins, right? Uh, unless you just want to buy your endgame team and be done with it. And that's what I want to talk about next on the market. And also the Pulisic slash Rabiot could come today. Before I do that, let me mention this. 96 Team of the Year Delict is very inflated like we talked about he's actually back down a little bit 510 right now is the cheapest one out there which is interesting there's two at 510 uh not selling i'm gonna actually watch this and see if they sell uh because this guy was like 450,000 coins last week during the week when i first shouted him the day after the danilo sbc um was put into the game i shouted that guy right away because i said hey this guy is going to be an easy link up to that card a lot of people are going to try to link him up and that is exactly what we're seeing. That car was like 560,000 coins earlier today after Juventus did win. And I would expect, honestly, for this 92 Danilo card, I would expect this to get upgraded within 48 hours because the last upgrade that we had, the Vinicius upgrade, actually happened um, about almost 24 hours or just a little over 24 hours after uh, Real Madrid beat Granada last Monday a week ago so I would expect this car to be upgraded probably in like the 24 to 36 hour time frame which is going to make it a pretty saucy looking right back card he's going to be club 90 except for shooting uh, because they did win so he's getting a plus three boost this card's going to be insane so I'm really stoked to try him out maybe in rivals or something a little bit um, and a lot of people are going to be using this card this weekend in my opinion so that's why that delict card i was a big fan of him uh as a rise this week he's come back down a little bit so just kind of watch this card's price monitor that uh and all of that stuff now today we're probably getting a pulisic or a rabio sbc now again as an american i'm really really hoping for christian pulisic because right now in foot he only has one card and that is a uh, ones to watch item that has not yet upgraded this year actually no what he got one in form sorry he got one in form he's an 82 rated card wants to watch i really really hope that he wins today uh but i think rabio honestly 
is going to be a really, really good shout for a possible winner today as well. And if Rabiot wins, I know it's it's another French center mid, right? We've got Pogba. We've already had... Um, We've had uh, uh, Ndombele as well as another French center mid that has come out. So many French center mids and French midfielders, right? Even Usman is a center attacking mid. So many French cards have come out, especially midfielders. And a lot of people don't want Rabiot because they feel like this card uh, is very similar to what Rabiot would be. Because I'm pretty sure Rabiot is like 6'3", 6'4", and has kind of the same player build as Pogba does in game. Uh, but even if Rabiot does win today, I feel like if EA make it a very cheap card, and if they make it linkable to... Well, it is linkable. It is linkable to uh, the new Danilo card that is going to get upgraded today. This card could be really good. Honestly, it really could be. So I know it's another French midfielder, center defensive mid. Um, but if they give him the boost today, if they give him the juice and they make it a cheap SBC, there could be some hype for Rabiot. But I think a lot of Prem fans and a lot of uh, American fans like myself are really hoping for Captain America to get the SBC today. So we'll see. That's like the big question mark for today. What's going to happen with that? Um, I don't really expect that much other content to come out today. I don't expect any more objectives. Maybe they drop another type of upgrade SBC. That would be dope if they did. But honestly, today I'm just uh, expecting the Summer Heat fan vote winner and then possibly another vote because sometimes they've done votes on Tuesdays as well as the winner SBC from the vote on Sunday. So we could get another vote today. We'll see what EA wants to do with that. Um, but I also want to talk about market movements today, right? A lot of you guys are still wanting to know, can I, when do I need to buy, buy cards? When do I need to sell cards? And honestly, I think I would still keep waiting on most cards that are in packs right now. Ramos today, this is a good example, right? Uh, this guy dropped down from where he was in the past couple days. Some cards today dropped a little bit around the 6 p.m. time frame. Uh, really meta cards did drop a little bit um, just because of people, you know, panic selling them a little bit for whatever reason, just after uh, we saw the content today, because, you know, people probably had to sell some cards on the market today to go out and fund their pack addiction to go do the repeatable POTS SBCs and to maybe go do uh, Hassan uh, or um, Masuaku. So I, I don't know if like, uh, Robertson went down today. Actually, that's what I'm going to check right now. I'm going to check if Robertson went down today as a Premier League left back. He actually might have uh, just because people like to panic sell the stuff a lot because especially considering how cheap um, Masuaku is. I think Masuaku is an 83 rated squad with 80 chem is probably like 60, 70,000 coins. So did this drop at all today? He was 127K. Yeah, he did. He dropped from 126 down to 87 and he's back at 89. I still find some value in this card. I know right now you guys probably aren't that interested in trading, right? Uh, but it says this guy's 90,000 coins at the moment. Uh, if you see more panic selling on this card in the next couple days, the only reason that I would really, really, really see a lot more panic selling on this is if Masuaku's team, uh, if they win, right? If Masuaku, uh, if, if they win on uh, Sunday, then this card would probably drop even further. That's my only thing that I would be on the lookout for. It's probably not the best investment right now, but it is Liverpool. And if Masuaku's team does not win and there's not any more hype for that card, then I would see probably a little bit of a rebound on Robertson just because of the Liverpool links. But if West Ham do end up winning, uh, then I, I, I think you would see a plus three upgrade on this card affect Robertson's price again on the markets. Just be kind of careful uh, with that, I was hoping again, I keep wanting to say that I hope prices are going to drop back down a decent amount. But again, this is probably, I'm going to talk about it a little more in depth later this week in a specific video where I talk about, hey, when do you actually want to buy a lot of these TOTS cards? I know a lot of you would have, want to, have wanted to buy Mbappe, have wanted to buy Benyetter and Neymar, and those guys just kind of keep cheap. They keep kind of chilling or even slightly rising in price. Uh, these TOTS cards that everybody really wants to buy for their end game teams. And I think there's going to be a point where we can pull the trigger. Um, but I still think I would wait. I still think I would wait on a lot of this stuff because it is constantly fluctuating around in price because these cards are very, very rare. Uh, but I do think you're going to see a, a lot of people that want to start buying their teams and, and they're going to start buying cards later on in the week this week. So we might need to get ahead of that. But I'm still wanting you guys to wait just because I don't exactly know what is going to be the content? EA could very easily release another SBC that just causes a lot of panic selling and a lot of hype, something out of the middle, out of the blue, out of nowhere. So that's why I'm just saying take it easy for now. And if we don't see anything Wednesday, uh, 
and into Thursday, that's when I'm gonna start recommending say, hey, with rewards, this is when I think you wanna pick up on some of that stuff. So we'll talk a little bit about that later this week. But if you have 82s, 81s, 82s, 83s in your club that you invested in, you are sitting pretty and you are very, very happy because a lot of these cards have boomed in price. Uh, all 83s are 6K a piece. All 82s are like 4,000 coins a piece. So just because of the SBC today, even 80, 80s and 81s, basically all rare golds on the market are selling for over 1,000 coins. And if it's 80 or 81 rated or higher, then it has way more additional value because of those SBCs because people are buying these cards to go craft tots guaranteed, which is about 50 K to do. And uh, again, Arthur's 71 K and Hassan's only 129,000 coins. It's crazy that an 83 rated squad is only it's 70,000 coins, right? And an 86 rated squad is only 125 K. That's actually kind of crazy that the, the SBCs with a plus three rating difference and the type of cards that you have to turn in for an 86, um versus an 83 it's very interesting how close those prices are usually 86 rated squads are vastly more expensive than an 83 but that's kind of interesting to me just kind of shows what people are focused on right now in the game and why this fodder is high because people are getting you know higher rated uh fodder cards tots cards uh stuff that they're packing and upgrade sbcs and they're finishing out their sbcs to do that the tots guaranteed or other you know, a lot of the other summer heat SBCs are 84, 85 rated. So they're just buying 82s and 83s to finish out those squads. And that's why you're seeing a lot of these prices stay inflated. Any last minute uh, SBCs that are going away very soon. The, la the league on tots guaranteed goes away. Most of you guys have done that. The I guess we could see a dynamic duo. I would maybe say that would probably come on Wednesday though. If anything, maybe a new dynamic duo comes. So you have a day left to do Bellotti and Verdi. If that's something you're interested in, and I actually need to craft Ante Rebic because I need to get that card for a link to Zlatan just because I'm a big Zlatan guy. Um, but again, it's really interesting how all this stuff really expires on Friday. It is interesting. So we'll start to cover that and talk about that as the week goes, goes on a little bit more. But hopefully today we see a Captain America SBC, maybe some other type of summer showdown or other SBCs like that. I, I don't expect another objective. I really don't just because I feel like since it's the end of the promo, objectives are really just going to be done for, and we're kind of done with those right now in FIFA Ultimate Team. But good luck with your packs. If you're grinding packs and you want to watch me do those live, I'm streaming a lot of times this week. Usually I stream just three to four times a week. Uh, I'll probably be on like five this week just because of all of these packs that are out and wanting to full send, pack some TOTS cards, get some Prime crafted, and craft some of these Summer Heat SBCs uh, while we have a chance to at the end of the best promo ever. In FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. If you enjoyed this video, smash your thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.